In the previous episode of Imagine Travel 24-7, we explored more about the history of Cartagena. And today, we are going to explore more of the tourist things to do. We're going to take a nice walk through a beautiful neighborhood, look at some street art, and maybe go relax on the beach for a little while. And uh, I'm sure a cold beer will make an appearance in today's episode also. So we are going to get a taxi and we are going to start day number two here in this wonderful city. Getting a taxi here in Cartagena is very easy. You rarely need to wait more than 30 seconds before one passes you by. The protocol is typical of the rest of the world. Just wave your hand and they'll stop. And prices are very reasonable with a 10 minute ride costing about 8,000 pesos or two US dollars. As I have mentioned in previous episodes, it is always best to know a little Spanish and use Google Maps to make sure you are getting a fair ride. Here we are touring around one of the hip neighborhoods just outside of the historic city center called Hetzemani. This is a fantastic place for people who are traveling on a budget. Backpackers can stay in hostels here. There's a variety of cafes and bars and restaurants that are super cool and super hip here. This is a very old neighborhood. It used to be very dangerous, but now in this moment, a lot of foreigners have started to buy up properties here and turn them into boutique hotels and hostels. So now it's a great place to come to see some street art, which if you're a subscriber, to imagine travel you know it's one of my favorite things to do in a city and you can stay in a super cool boutique hotel or in a hostel with your fellow travelers so let's go take a look more at Hetzemani located a few blocks south of the historic walled city Hetzemani is a historic friendly Caribbean neighborhood that has seen it all it has come up from the depths of street violence and prostitution to become the colorful, vibrant neighborhood it is today. You will instantly know you are in Hetzemani by the welcoming smiles from the locals and the brilliant graffiti decorating the walls. If you are a subscriber to Imagine Travel, you will know that street art in Colombia often contains a social message. Hetzemani is a great place to feel the country's vibe and immerse yourself in the local culture and cuisine. Grab yourself a cold beer and an arepa de huevo and explore this historic body. After soaking in the culture, it's time to head down to the beach and soak in the rays. We're grabbing another taxi and venturing down to Boca Grande. Another one of the great things to do here in Cartagena is come to the beach. There are a lot of different options in Cartagena for beaches. For example, you could come here to Boca Grande, which is the massive tourist destination with all the big hotels and condos, and also these beaches, which are public and accessible by everyone. Or you can take a boat and go to one of the beautiful Caribbean style beaches on the islands and some of the archipelagos off the coast of Cartagena. This beach is right here in the city and is very easily accessible. Some of the other beaches that are on islands take a little bit more effort to get to, but are more private and definitely more beautiful. This beach right here in the city of Cartagena is not your typical beautiful crystal blue water Caribbean Sea beach, but nevertheless, it's still a very good time. You can also eat lunch here on the beach. The vendors will come to you and offer you pretty much anything in the world from shrimp to massages to beer to water to little trinkets to take home to your family, everything you can possibly think of. Or you can just sit here and relax. It's okay to say no to the vendors that are trying to sell you something. Just say gracias two or three times and they will move on to the next person. Another great thing about the beaches here in Colombia and in Cartagena is you can drink beer on the beach. The vendors will come to you to sell you beer and it's not expensive, it's very cheap, usually about $1.50 for one beer. In the US, it's very difficult to drink beer on the beach. I think it's illegal unless you're on a private beach. Here in Boca Grande, 
This is where the majority of the hotels are located. These massive towers that you see behind me are all hotels and condos. It's super easy to book a very nice hotel right here in Boca Grande and be within walking distance of the beach. The beaches are the essence of what makes Cartagena a top international tourist destination. You can find everything from the quiet, secluded, private beach to the super energetic party beach. Boca Grande is centrally located and a perfect combination of the two. Just keep walking until you find your perfect spot. The vendors will be happy to bring you some chairs and some beers and anything else you need to have a good time. Don't be afraid to ask. After relaxing on the beach, we are headed back into the walled city for some truly unique Cartagena experiences. We are here in La Cerezuela Mall. It's a very fancy, very beautiful mall. And this piece here is actually an old bullfighting ring that has now been converted into kind of like an amphitheater and this uh, very historic building. And you have a wonderful view of Cartagena if you look in that direction. I know what you're thinking, but Sam, I don't want to go to a mall on my beach vacation to Cartagena, but not to worry, my friends. La Cerezuela is not your typical hyper-consumerist mall where Hello Kitty and Abercrombie and Fitch will cause you to lose all faith in humanity. Located in the historic walled city, the prominent circular structure that dominates the building's architecture is a former Spanish bullfighting ring. It has now been converted into a cultural venue for musicians and local performers to showcase their proud work. The mall itself mostly consists of national Colombian brands. La Cerezuela is a great place to pick up a Made in Colombia souvenir. Anything from a rich Colombian rum to make cocktails back home, to splendid handbags, clothes, and other leather goods all made in Colombia. After witnessing more of Cartagena's proud history, it's time to head to the best spot in town to watch the sunset and relax. Café del Mar. It's a beautiful restaurant on top of the wall that surrounds the historic city of Cartagena. It's the perfect way to end your day here in Cartagena with a cold drink and some delicious seafood. Ceviche happens to be my favorite, but they have a variety of things you can end your wonderful day with. I highly recommend coming here just a little bit before sunset, maybe about five o'clock. Relax, enjoy yourself, and then catch the sunset over the Caribbean Sea at about 6.30 p.m. It's a wonderful way to end your day here in Cartagena de Indias. I hope to see you here sometime soon. Café del Mar is a bar and restaurant located on top of the wall that surrounds the historic city of Cartagena. It offers unparalleled views of the Caribbean Sea. And because Colombia is located so close to the equator, the sunset is almost at the same time year round, about 6.30 p.m. The centuries of history and the Caribbean Sea are the main drivers for tourism here in Cartagena. At Café del Mar, you have both the history of the New World and the beauty of the Caribbean in one site. Because it's such a popular destination to watch the sunset, I recommend arriving at about 5.30 ordering a couple of cocktails, and slowly taking in every moment. But the magic of Cartagena does not set with the Caribbean sun. After the sun sets, the city only becomes more romantic. Cartagena is one of the most romantic cities 
in all of Colombia, in all the world. So when you come to visit this wonderful, beautiful, magical city, you definitely need to take a horse-drawn carriage ride. That's exactly what we're going to do now. So let's go. Known as the City of Magic, Cartagena has been at the center of romantic movies and novels for centuries. The beautifully sculpted doors, the cobblestone streets, and the small, brightly colored balconies are exactly what one pictures when mentioning the city of Cartagena. As you stroll through the historic city at night, you will undoubtedly be tempted to take a tour in the celebrated fashion from centuries past. Ask the guide for a detailed history of the city, or just quietly relax and enjoy the company. It's up to you what you want to make your Cartagena experience.